What's going on everybody? Alex here, Nick and Zion Landscape. So if you've been following along, you knew that we were in the market for a new mower, and we actually picked that new mower up the other day. It's a 2018 Skag Tiger Cat 2. It's a 52 inch, it's got the Velocity Plus deck, and it's got a 22 horsepower Kawasaki engine. We also got the clamshell bagger attachment with it. You dump from the seat. I mentioned that's the one we wanted. Uh, had to be a dump from seat. So that's what we got guys. We love this mower so far only got about four and a half hours on it But we're gonna give you our initial thoughts and uh, pretty much our first impressions of this machine. So here she is guys Like I said, it's got about four hours on it uh, four and a half Something like that. I can turn the key here and see exactly where we're at um, but just a few things to point out. I mean initial things you're going to think of when you're looking at buying a mower uh, Cut quality is going to be probably one of your first things you think about. We do not have uh, Any input on that yet. We have not mowed any grass just vacuum leaves, but as far as vacuuming leaves the goes guys This thing does an awesome job. We had uh, one small residential um, in particular that was probably about 10,000, 12,000 square feet, uh, something like that. Average yard for around here. Um, but it was just caked in leaves. I mean, it was covered. But they had, they'd probably been sitting there, I would say maybe two weeks, something like that. But the whole yard was covered. You couldn't hardly see any grass. And I went over it with this thing, and it literally just, it was like, poof gone houdini that's what that's what that thing is it was amazing what it did i wish i could have got it on film i should have we were in a hurry we were rushing around so i did not film it uh, but we'll be doing a lot more like that so i will be able to get some footage of that but i was super impressed on uh the the yards like that that had a lot of leaves um but you could tell they were somewhat fresh so it vacuumed them up really really nice um the yards that were more matted down um, in some areas we had to go over it twice and we had some really uh, thick areas that were wet and we did have the side shoot uh, clog a time or two but uh, to be perfectly honest that's something that uh, we're not going to be trying to vacuum up with this thing um, that's it's just too much you need to you need to get it up or at least fluff it up before you try to vacuum it so more or less just testing it in some stuff that I didn't think it was going to vacuum up that I don't expect it to vacuum up um, but on the average residential or even bigger yards, you know, like this yard, I'm going to do, I'll do this in the next couple days and I'll film that. Um, and I put a picture on Instagram and Facebook yesterday of a big yard that we did that was covered and it was big. I mean, I had to dump a lot, but that's kind of, you know, that's kind of expected that hopper is only so big and that's why a dump from the seat was so important to me. Um, so when you're sitting down, you literally just reach your right arm back pull this lever down while you're sitting in the seat it dumps them you close it back up and you drive off i mean it, it literally takes seconds and if you have bags you got to get out each time and empty those bags so knowing that we were going to be doing big properties with things this thing and uh, knowing how everything was going to play out uh, have have a good idea of our intentions with this machine um, but knowing how it was going to play out i definitely wanted that dump from the seat a lot of properties we have we can dump the leaves in the woods so all we gotta do is clean them up. So, I mean, when you're talking, you know, this is a 52 inch mower, pretty much as long as it's gonna take you to mow the grass, you can do the leaves. So uh, think about that. But I mean, we all know that leaf profits are more than mowing profits. So um, it's it's definitely gonna speed up our, uh, our system for sure. And in the past, we've always had efficient setups and we've still got all that equipment. But I think this, for certain properties, is going to really, really boost our productivity. In certain situations, it's not going to make much of a difference. You know, on a small residential that you could, uh, if it's really heavy leaves, they've been sitting there for a while, you can probably blow it, you know, pretty much just as fast as you're going to be able to do with this. Now you're going to have a little bit more fatigue. Um, but it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is in all situations, it's not going to be the answer. It's not going to make a big difference. Um, but in a lot of situations, it will make a big difference and it will be the answer. So it's just another uh, another tool in our arsenal. And it's something that we were really missing. I've never had a big bagging mower and you know, only using it for two days. I really, really wish I would have pulled this trigger a long time ago because this thing, like I said, on that one residential, it was a total game changer. I mean, it probably was four or five times faster, maybe six times faster than it would have been if we would have tried to blow it or do it any other way. I don't care what other way we would have done it, there is no way we could have touched the amount of time that it took 
with this thing. There's no way. It wouldn't even have been close. We could do four houses with this in the time that you could blow those yards or rake them or I don't care what you're going to use. Anything else besides a bagging system, there's no way. So in certain situations, it's going to be really, really key to our to our operation. Um, being efficient, that's, that's my main thing. I always want to be efficient. If we're not efficient, then we're not making the best money we can. And if we're not making the best money we can, then we're just, we need to recalculate. We need to figure out what's going on. So like I said, something that I wish I would have bought a long time ago, uh, this thing's just been really really awesome actually it's been fun to use it uh more or less but with all that being said guys let's pretty much get down to it. this is what everyone wants to know would i recommend this mower of course i would would i recommend getting a bagging system style mower uh, whether it be skag bobcat ferris whatever if you don't have a bagging style mower and you do leaf pickups you really really need to consider it guys it was for real a game changer i'm not even kidding like i said in certain situations five to one is what I'm going to be able to do this versus something else. So all in all, really, really happy with the purchase. Can't wait to use it a bunch more. Can't wait to put a lot more footage up here of this thing. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be cool using this and using a zero turn. We have had a couple zero turns, but I've never bought a brand new zero turn. Uh, I had a Ferris in probably 2013. It was pretty much new. Um, but I really didn't like it that much. I've always been a stander or a walk behind kind of guy. Um, but this thing is going to be our main fall cleanup machine. We're going to use it in the summer to mow grass, of course, uh, but not too much. So, well, at least that's the plan. We'll see. We'll see how all that plays out. But this machine was bought uh, pretty much strictly for leaf cleanups. It will get used at other times, but that was the main reason for this purchase. We did not need another mower for mowing grass, uh, but our other mowers were not capable of having a bagging system. So depending on what we do with our lawn care route, which we've talked about all that stuff, I'm going to make a video uh, specifically on our plans for our 2019 lawn care here soon. Um, but with our plans, who knows? We may, who knows? I don't really know what we're gonna do yet. That's still all up in the air. But like I said, this machine was bought strictly for fall cleanups and fall cleanups it is doing and it's doing a great job. So all in all, I'm very happy with my purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're looking into buying a new mower, I've had a lot of people hit me up and uh, say they wanted to see all the goodies, all the details on this machine, which I guess I didn't really go too far into details. Um, but other than, other than its performance, which to me, performance and dealer support, that's all that matters. I don't care what color it is. I don't care. None of that stuff really matters. I don't really care about the bells and whistles. This thing is sweet. It's got a digital readout. It's got a uh, charger port here for your phone or for your uh, cigarette lighter charger port dealio. Um, so it's got the bells and whistles for sure, but that's, that's not what matters to me. I don't care about that stuff. I care about performance and serviceability or um, support, I guess I should say. Uh, that's what matters to me. And I've got both of those with this machine. I know that now that I've used it. So for me, good purchase, happy with it. Wouldn't change it. I'll be showing a lot more footage of this, guys. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I'll see you in the next one.